again, I'm Joe Wellington, and I'm going to show you how to add textures to your photos. I've been really into taking still life photos lately, and I like them to look like fine art, beautiful artwork that you can hang on your wall. So I add textures, and it's really very easy to do. So here's one of the pictures I've taken recently, and I'm going to add a texture called Burnt Almond. And I got this from Rita at the Coffee Shop blog for free. And I'll leave a link below so you can go over and see all her textures and get this one for free also. But first of all, we're going to want to um, use this burnt almond over my picture. So you can see it up here in your, your palette. Go ahead and cl left click on it and while holding down, you're going to drag it out of that bin. Next, you're going to go up to your move tool, which is the tool right on top here and click on that. And we're going to, oopsie, we're going to left click and while holding down, we just drag it right over my picture. And we don't need this anymore, so let's go ahead and X out of this. Now, just using the corners, we're just going to drag the texture to cover our picture, which is very easy. And then we're going to go ahead and apply that. Now, we're going to want to blend this texture with the background picture and we do that going up to our blend modes which says normal click on that and go to multiply in the dot drop down menu and click on that there you go you can see it blended together but it is still pretty dark so let's go ahead and change that by going up to the opacity slider and going down a little bit and you can see it's losing some of its um, opacity and you can really put this anywhere you like. This is totally subjective, but I'm just going to put this at 60%. But I also think that it's still too much on the picture and on this fruit. So let's go ahead and selectively remove even more. And we do that by getting a layer mask. Go down to the bottom of your layer bin and you can see this little square with a circle. Click on that and now you've created a layer mask and you can see it as this white square on this layer. And we're going to want to paint with this with a black brush. So go over here and you can use these little arrows to toggle back and forth between the black and white, but we want the black on top. Next, we're going to go up to our brush, click on that. And we're going to go up here, click on this, because we want to get a soft edge brush. Notice how this edge is softer than these harder edged brushes. Click on the soft edge. And now I'm going to go up to the opacity. This little opacity slider up here controls the brush opacity. So I'm going to have this at about 30%. Now I'm going to enlarge my brush using my right bracket key on my keyboard. And if you need to make yours smaller, you can go to the left bracket key. Now left click and while holding down, we're going to paint over where we want to remove more of this texture. And you can see that it's kind of brightening up in those areas. I also want a little bit off of my wallpaper in the background because I think this is a pretty wallpaper and I want that to show up. Now another thing that is really fun to do is I'm going to make my brush a little smaller. Now go ahead and go over the natural highlights in your photo where the light's really hitting the picture. And this really kind of fine tunes the lighting in your picture and really draws out this different kind of texture in your picture that you created just by your lighting that you used. And I think that looks really neat. Let's look at before. And this is after with the texture. It just gives it a richness. That's it. It's really very easy to do. So have fun with this.